Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for stopping by and saying hello, checking out this video. It's gonna be all about my first few days with Invisalign. So I do show a lot of fashion on my channel, so I'll show you the outfit that I put together to go get braces today. And my hair was like, I woke up looking like Florida Evans with the fro, so I just detangled it and put some twists in. I will tackle that later in the weekend. Today is Friday, so I just threw a hat on. I'm out of office. Threw on a Nike crop top, Nike sweats, and some Air Jordans that I really never wear. And I'm carrying my brand new Marc Jacobs crossbody top handle bag. I'm in love with it. It is such a Stacy bag. I like bags with handles, not just bags with straps. So this is definitely for me. So I'm going into the office. My appointment is at 9. My dentist is about 10 minutes away. So it's 8.35 right now. I do not know how long the treatment will last or how long it will take they will tell me today today i'm going to get the attachments put on i'm going to get my trays i'm going to learn how long it's going to take i think they'll show me how to um put them in and out take them in and out and um i get to ask any questions so uh, the only questions I really have is about, um, do I have to brush my teeth if all I put in my mouth is apple cider vinegar? Like in the mornings, I drink water and apple cider vinegar, and I'm just wondering, should I do that now before or after I brush my teeth? Guys, I'm very excited. I've been wanting braces for... 15 years or more, and I actually got my wisdom teeth taken out in 2005 in order to get braces. And here it is 2020 and I'm just now getting braces. So let's go to the dentist and see how this process goes. And let's just take our pre-shot of the teeth now so I can have my before and after. If I was really thinking this through, I would have gotten the braces put on last year or um, like the first week of this year of 2020 because I'm doing the Daniel fast and I already am limited in what I can eat. And a lot of times I use food for comfort and I would really like some comfort food if this hurts today, but I'm not gonna have it, which is all what the fasting is for, is to depend on the Lord and not depend on other things to get us through circumstances that we go through in life. Um, like shopping, no retail therapy. That was one of my biggies that I learned about myself last year. So that's why this fast, I'm definitely praying that I learn to lean on the Lord and not outside comforters but i will tell you maybe if i had pushed this out two weeks it would have been better just in case i'm not feeling so well because i am limited in what i can eat we'll see
attachments in. A week per tray. Mm -hmm. So we'll be changing to new trains every Friday. You don't always have to follow that weekly, you know, per tray. Mm -hmm. That's just if you know your teeth are moving accordingly. If you feel like after that week is up and your teeth aren't sore anymore, you can always move on to the next one. Okay. After that week. So, but never faster than yeah. a week. It's always a week, minimum a week. A minimum a week, but it's really when I see that the tray is loose. Yes. So if I have to change every Friday, that means that if they are not loose mm -hmm. on one Friday, I have to wear it another week. Yes. Okay. So it could be one to two weeks. One okay. to two weeks. Mm -hmm. But it's kind of my call. Right. Not my call, but... When it, I determine, like, okay, yes. it's not tight. It looks mm -hmm. like the teeth have moved. Yes. Okay. That's when you move on to the next one. Okay. So we just say a week, but, you know, it really just depends on how it feels on you. Okay. If you feel like, you know what, this is still kind of tight. Always wear it longer. We okay. encourage it, okay? Okay. So this device, you're going to get one of these right in here. This is just a demo. <laughs> and then what you're going to do is you're going to turn this on. With your trays in, you're going to bite onto this plate with the trays on for mm -hmm. 20 minutes a day. 20 minutes a day. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it could be any time of the day. It doesn't have to be the same time every day. Okay. And so what does that do? This kind of just helps uh, minimize soreness and helps speed up the process of your teeth moving into the place that we want them to. Okay. Okay. So the way you charge it, you just put it back in here in this little container and then connect it right here. All right. And all of your stuff is right in here. Okay. Okay, I'll be back in six weeks. I'm going to go ahead and register your device. So if anything were to happen when it stops working, you can just give us a call and we can try to get a replacement for you. Okay. Not long at all. All right, guys, I have my Invisalign in for the uh, first time on my own. Yes, I have a lisp. It's like very airy and very, I feel like extra wet a little bit because that's common because my mouth now has something foreign in it and it may think it's food. And so it makes me salivate a little bit more. I could feel in my uppers, I immediately felt that I thought it would irritate me. So I had them file it down in the office, but it's common, you know, that sometimes they may be a little high. And so they just say, take a nail file and file the top of it down. But I have 17 attachments, none on my front four teeth which are which is good and I have 17 trays so apparently they think this is going to be over in like four months and I'm okay with that um when I look at the video that they played me of how they think my teeth should move in the next 17 weeks I don't notice a big difference <laughs> but the goal here is to bring my bottom teeth down and spread my teeth out so it won't be a huge these are like small movements because my teeth aren't like really crossing each other and then in the top I have these little bitty teeth so they just want an even spacing on each side so that I can eventually get veneers I know that my ultimate goal is to get veneers I don't even have to shave my teeth down because 
the teeth that I will get veneers on, they're already like three of the six are already really small. Um, there is zero pain today. I feel absolutely no pain whatsoever. Um, the only thing I had to wait on is one of my attachments was l a little protrusive. And so I had to wait for my actual dentist to come in and just shave that down. I'm sure I'll get over this lisp really soon. But right now, I just feel like I'm speaking really awkwardly. Like I'm trying to overcompensate for having this in my mouth. I don't feel any pressure on the top, but for my bottom teeth, I already feel like it's tight. Like, oh yeah, it's in there. She said I shouldn't feel anything today, but tomorrow I might need to take a pain pill because it will feel like I have locked jaw. So I haven't eaten anything it's great because the person who put on my attachments and did all of this for me, she has Invisalign. She's also had regular braces, so she's a great resource for me. And she has not kept up with her trays. She has not put them in every week. She does not brush her teeth all the time. She's like the case not to do. And she's now on her third year of Invisalign because she had a baby and just could not keep up with it. So luckily my treatment is projected to be short, which is good. So it's not gonna be such a long time that I feel like my entire life is over, you know, for a long time. So I'm just gonna run some errands and go home, um, get some food and probably take a nap because I don't know, I don't have anything else to do and it's a really ugly day today. Hi guys, it's 1.45. I know I sound weird. We're gonna get through this together, okay? It's 1.45 on day one and this is the first time I'm about to eat something today and I didn't even eat anything this morning so I am very hungry. I could have picked up something or like taking nuts or something because I am on a on the Daniel fast. I could have done that, but I didn't feel like the hassle of brushing my teeth and stuff. That's the inconvenience of Invisalign. Hopefully, I just, you know, get over it or just become very happy being skinny because I won't eat and snack as much. But this is the box they gave me. And... um this is what the case looks like that I should put my Invisalign in every time I take it out. So I'm going to wash my hands. I don't have any pain still. Like zero. Z zero. Zero. I'm trying to get used to this lisp. But um, you do feel it in your mouth at least. I do at the moment. She said I should get used to it, so we'll see. So I'm going to I'm going to show you how I'm supposed to take them out just in case you're thinking of getting Invisalign. She said take start in the back. And pull down. Okay. <laughs> okay. That is not sexy. Okay. know how both of these are supposed to fit in here. It doesn't matter. They fit. And now I have to wash my hands again because it has slob all over it. And now I can eat and you can see 
These are the attachments. Here, here. She said they will more than likely fall out. That is very common. Just when I go in in six weeks, I'm to let them know and then they will replace the attachment. I'm going to eat because I am trying to keep these in for at least 22 hours a day. And then I'm going to floss and brush my teeth and put them back in and go about my day. 2.15. So I am 30 minutes without them today for one meal. I guess we're going to average like 30 minutes without them. Already brushing my teeth like a good Invisalign wearer on day one. And then I'm gonna put these babies right back in. And I'm already like, I don't feel like it. Ugh, I'm such a brat. It is 8.05. I just ate again, brushed my teeth, put the top ones in. I heard a click and I remember that she said the top ones probably wouldn't click. And I looked and one of the attachments has already come off. Not even a whole day. So, she said I don't need them all. So, we're going to go without that one. I ain't stressing, worried, nothing. So, I just dropped this one. I just rinsed it off. Now, I'm going to put it in. I think at this point, the biggest surprise to me is that my attachments are spiky and not smooth. I'm also surprised at how horribly I sound with this in my mouth. I thought I would sound a little better, but my sister said I, I talk like a duck, so I don't know. Anyways, I'm going to my parents' house. I'll... Follow up again on day two. Good night. Hi, guys. So it is day two. It's about 725 in the evening. I still have this horrible list. I sound really bad. I did not think I would sound this bad. It has been annoying today. Um, actually eating and cooking. You can't taste the food with this in. So I've actually taken it out to make my smoothie this morning and then to cook lunch this afternoon and have a snack. Also, I'm supposed to use this Excelident every day for 20 minutes. And I thought, oh, okay, I'm going to watch um, last week's episode of Power and get caught up and I can actually just use it. But then I just... Pulled out the quick reference card, which says charge it for eight hours before the first use. So I'm supposed to use this every day for 20 minutes. I didn't do it yesterday. And it also looks like I'm not going to be using it today unless it fast charges. So looks like it's orange now and then it'll turn off when it's fully charged and I can use it. Um, but I'll use that tonight. It has been annoying. I'm not going to lie. And I think um, two updates for today. One, I woke up and my lip was cut uh, right here. I haven't had a cut lip maybe ever. I don't remember. Um, and I think it's from the mouth guard thing that they put on to put the attachments on. They hold your mouth open with this mouth guard thing. And mine kept coming off. She had to get a bigger size for my big lips and everything. And I just think that that, um, that kind of impacted my lip. And I was putting some balm and salve on it. I've been using this Carol's Daughter body jelly it's like all natural vaseline and i keep putting it on my lips but it's not really making it feel better at the moment 
I also have this Bobbi Brown um, skin salve here that I used on it earlier. So just trying to make that feel better. I don't think it's from the Invisalign, but um, I just, I think it's from when they held my mouth open. So I have that going on. I guess I'm, I'm not used to it. So after 24 to 48 hours, I'm still not used to this in my mouth. As you can tell, I just feel like my mouth is stuffed. <laughs> and I didn't think that the attachments would actually stick out, as I mentioned on yesterday. So I'm dealing with that. But um, this is today's date. It is today. It's annoying because also I'm on the Daniel fast. And normally I would have like three set meals a day and that would be it. I'm not a big snacker overall. I just like to have three healthy meals a day. But since I'm on the Daniel Fast, my meals are not high um, caloric meals. And so I kind of substitute by snacking on like hummus or some nuts and stuff like that. And you cannot do that with these in. It's just so annoying. So like I mentioned, I'm probably going to become a skinny mini on this because it's just annoying. And that's so far my day two update. If this Accelident device charges quickly, then I'll come back on and show you how I use it later. If not, I'll see you tomorrow. So right before I was about to go to bed, I noticed that the little indicator went off on my little device here. It is 11.45 p.m., so I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. I can't even get it out. Like... I'm over it. <laughs> This is going to be the end of the vlog. I'm going to learn how to get this thing out of the case. I'm going to buzz for 20 minutes and then I'm going to go to bed. I think you guys can tell how I feel about having braces after the first two days. I thought Invisalign would feel less invasive. I thought it would feel like a rubber container, but... No, they feel like braces, like for real. Like I sound like I have metal braces. They're just clear. And I think I underestimated how invasive they would be. Yeah, I have my bonnet on because I'm definitely about to go to sleep. I just did a twist out on my hair. <sighs> I'll do another update. Maybe by my six, maybe by my six week appointment, I'll be able to say sixth week appointment and not spit. See you guys later.